All right, guys, today we got to talk about what is going on with the housing market. Is it good? Is it bad? Should you run or should you hide or do all of the above? Well, stay to the end to figure out what's really going on. But without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. All right, today we got to talk about what's going on in the housing market. What is Joe Biden doing? And before I even get started, I just want you guys to understand I am not red. I am not blue. I think politics are stupid and I think all politicians are idiots. That's just my opinion. Let's just get that out there. So nobody thinks, oh yeah, this or that. No, I actually hate the whole system of politics. It's stupid. But without further ado, let's just jump right into this because now we're getting to all different topic. So first, there is talks that Joe Biden is going to be passing a bill that will give first time homeowners $25,000, meaning you could use it for a down payment. You could use it to help get the house. You can use it, who knows, for anything. But it's just a rumor right now. He wants to make it into law. It's not law yet. Now, it is a little stricter on how to get it. You have to be a first time homeowner in all of your family, meaning none of your family members can own a house. And this has to be, of course, your first home. And if it's like anything like last time, it's probably going to require a credit score of some sorts, not like just a fucking nothing. I think that would be good and bad because it's going to create a lot of competition for housing. And I think a lot of people are going to yellow it and get into like houses they can't afford because they now have 25 extra thousand dollars instead of being realistic and getting a house that they can afford and making it $25,000 cheaper. They're probably just going to put themselves in $25,000 or more debt. And then we also got to think about maybe interest rates go up. They're going to get their money back regardless. They say it's free, but nothing is ever free. Remember that, please, 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 please remember that. And then it gets a little more interesting now because Joe Biden is talking about cutting 1031 for anybody that flips a property over $500,000. And you could be like, oh, that's cool. It doesn't fit in my category. Yeah, that's cool. I don't care. Fuck the rich. Okay. But then step back. The rich are going to say, okay, if you're going to tax anything over 500,000, well, maybe I'll just go pick up the $150,000 house, sell for 300,000, 1031 into a $350,000 house and win the game. So now therefore your competition is rich people because this whole, bam, this is all you can do this is really fucking the middle class of course the rich aren't going to be happy they're never happy one thing about greed is they would never be happy because it's never enough but when you tell them the cap is five hundred thousand, let me tell you they're going to stay under five hundred thousand. why would you make more than five hundred thousand and then get taxed like 46 percent now ridiculous it's like the same thing as income tax you might as well just run your business or go to work i don't know exactly how i feel about this and again you don't really need to listen to me i'm just a youtuber you're watching through the screen probably laying down, driving a car, yelling at your dog, you know, whatever falls in that category. But remember, I am just a YouTuber, barely a YouTuber. I'm talking barely, but I just don't know how I feel about this because it's just going to push all the big time players into the small field. How are you going to compete with somebody if they're saying I could buy the whole house cash? I'm going to take the cash straight up. I'm not going to be like, no, I want payments. See, the thing is this, this rule that he's passing for the 1031 is very, very, it's like this, but then there's so many holes in it because I get it. He's trying to get all the rich people because the rich people don't pay taxes. But then you look at it and you're just like, well, fuck, they can go buy every normal house on the market and not pay taxes on it. Every normal house. People are like, oh, but they can't always do 500,000. Okay, but they can. Their wife can. Their kids can. Their LLC can. What else? Everything they can. Just Guys, you guys need to understand that rich people find a way to get around everything. And the fact that he just squished the 1031 down, basically now we have to compete with rich people. That is not good. Sure. $25,000 credit is good. Sure. Yeah. Great. Awesome. But then we also got to think about how many people are going to take advantage of that. How much free money is going around still. And then with the 25,000, you still have to compete with the big fish, the big sharks, the sharks, the sharks, because they're going to say, hmm, I don't really want to pay taxes on when I sell. So maybe I'll just go, you know, buy a house for a hundred and fifty thousand two hundred thousand rent it out for like three years and then flip it and go buy a three hundred fifty thousand dollar house and if 10 people do that or 100 people do that where does that many less properties for normal people <sighs> i'm sorry guys it, it just it frustrates me truthfully because they they scream that they want to help you but their actions say something completely different than their words every time this is all politics every politician says they want to help you and then look at their actions they never help you never help you. They create more problems for you, more competition. But anyways, guys, I am ranting now, but 
please drop a comment. Let me know what you think about what's going on. I would love to hear someone else's opinion on this. It frustrates me because I am someone who is trying to build their wealth. And you know, truthfully, this just holds everybody in the same place. This is America. This is capitalism. And what we're doing right now is not capitalism. But anyways, guys, my name is Derek with Flippin' Drip, and I drop two videos a day helping you mentally, physically, financially, spiritually, emotionally, everything. All here every day. Yes, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.